Hey, what's up guys? It's me, The Soul Purpose, and I'm coming at you with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you my VHS clamshell collection in alphabetical order. Well, to my best acknowledgement, I have it in alphabetical order. So hopefully I did a good job. I probably messed up here and there on a few of them, but it's alright. We'll switch it up after I watch the video probably a few times. It's like after you have like 200 plus VHSs, it gets a little too much. But I think I did my best. So quick story on these. Um, I've actually always wanted to have a collection of VHS tapes growing up. Unfortunately, it was way too much at that time for my uh, family to, you know, afford buying VHS tapes because these things were coming out like every other week or month or whatever it was. And, you know, they were like $19, $20. So, I mean, it kind of sucked. And as I got older, you know, things switched up from VHSs to DVDs to Blu-rays to downloads, you know to where we pretty much are today. And I never really pretty much forgot about the movies. I just, you know, didn't think about them too much. Not too long ago, a few years back, I thought about actually starting to collect them. I just, I think it was kind of foolish to be honest. And I just let it go by. I was like, yeah, whatever, it's all right. And not too long ago, maybe a few months ago, probably the beginning of this year, something just, I don't know, just told me, hey, you should start, col you should start collecting these um, VHS movies that you like, you know, before they all disappear and you'll never have the chance to get them. Because nowadays they're actually getting really, really hard to come across. Um, they're not that easy. But yeah, so I said to myself, I'm going to start collecting them. So slowly I did. I remember I found one person on Craigslist selling them for like a quarter or like 50 cents a piece. I'm not too sure. One second, I'm just getting my stool. And um, then after that, I found a local shop around that was selling them for less than a quarter. And they had so many, like, I mean... As you see, they had more and more. I can't imagine how much more they probably had. I almost like pretty much fell off my stool. <laughs> but I can't imagine how much more they probably had before I even got there. But there was like crap loads. And you know, some with like 15 of the same copies. With like good... It would Some would have like good cases with artwork. Some would have crappy cases with good artwork. Some would be good art. Some would be bad artwork with great cases. So any of them that were like, you know, multiple copies, I would look for the, you know, a nice clamshell and a nice um, artwork to go with it. So a lot of these are in very great, great could good condition and also the VHS tapes I looked at them I made sure that there were no bends or anything like that not saying all of them are like perfect but if there was a majority of them I took the time out to look through it you know just to get the best one seeing I'm gonna pay for it and I have a choice to do it so why not use it whoa I almost slid my chair away from the side I would have busted my face open Oh my god. <laughs> Anyhow, there's my Nickelodeon collection. Well, part of it. But, yeah, guys, that's pretty much my take on my VHS tapes. Um, the clamshells, at least. Hopefully, I got them in the best order that I could get them. I'll swing around one more time and show you guys. Please do remember to like, comment, and subscribe on the video. Let me know if, if you liked my collection, if you're collecting yourself, if you thought about collecting, you know, stuff like that. Dearly appreciate all the feedback, whether it's positive or negative, it doesn't matter to me. Because some negative could be something positive that maybe you didn't realize, but yeah, man, all of the above helps. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed my little collection. And I hope you guys have a pleasant weekend as well. Yeah, guys, that's my video. Hope you guys enjoy. And I'm out. Peace, guys.